In this video, I want to have a look at areas of triangles and quadrilaterals. So we'll start off with triangles. So if we know the base and the perpendicular height of a triangle, then we can find the area by going half times the base times the height. Now there is another formula for the area of triangles as well, which involves trigonometry, and that would be area equals half AB sine C. So where we know two sides and we know the size of their included angle. But for now, let's just have a look at this one. So next up we've got squares. If we know the length of one side, if we call that x, then the area would be x squared. So we're that x times itself. Next up we've got rectangles. So if we know the base and the height of a rectangle, then the area is just the base times the height. If we're looking for the area of a parallelogram, we need the base length and the perpendicular height. And then we'd go area equals base times height. It is really important not to get confused though, we need the perpendicular height, so the distance between the parallel sides, and not the slant height, so we don't want the length of this side along here. Next up we've got a rhombus. So if we know the lengths of the diagonals of a rhombus, we can find the area by going half times x times y, where x and y are those lengths of the diagonals. So that's one way you can do it. The other way is a rhombus is technically a parallelogram, so if you know um, the base and the perpendicular height of that rhombus, you can also calculate the area as a parallelogram. If we have a look back at squares, we know that squares are just a special type of rhombus. So if we knew the diagonals or the lengths of the diagonals of a square, we could also calculate the area of a square using this um, area of a rhombus formula. And the last quadrilateral to look at is a trapezium. So if we know the lengths of the parallel sides and we know the perpendicular distance between those parallel sides, then we can find the area by going h over 2 outside of a plus b. So that's just a really quick look at the formulas for calculating areas of triangles and quadrilaterals.